Hello everybody, in this video I have a mixed media process to share with you with the Thompson's Craft Supplies design team. I am going to be altering or decorating, whatever you want to call it, this wooden piece which is available in store at Thompson's Craft, obviously, and there are also various other like shapes and sizes and stuff. I started off by punching some little holes in the antlers with my crocodile so that there would be something to thread twine through when the project was finished so it can actually hang up as a decoration if you want it to. And then of course, obvious thing to start a mixed media project with, I'm covering it in a layer of white gesso. I'm using heavy gesso for this just so I didn't have to do multiple layers because I am super, super lazy. I made sure to go around the edges with the gesso as well because of what I find when I do projects like this is, you know, you look at something at the front and it's all pretty and lovely and then you turn around and you get that wooden MDF colour or like a chipboard colour if you're using something else and it's a bit like Eh. I mean, I know you're supposed to look at the front, but do you know what I mean? You just turn it slightly and you get like a stark contrast. So anyways, I like to put a little bit, just a tiny bit of effort into doing something that just makes the edges just not that woodeny colour, make them white, or I actually make them silver later on, but you know, spoiler alert. Anyways, I started off with this snowflake stencil, which I think I got it from Thompson's last year. It might be Echo Park. It might also not be Echo Park. If I can link it, I will. Um, and I'm using Prima Paper Paste to stencil with that. And then I'm taking my AB Studio stencil that came in my design team kit this month. And then again with the paper paste, putting that over where the antlers are, kind of creating a really, really snowy effect. It's almost as if snow is falling. Sorry if there was an awkward like little pause there. I just had to pause the audio to, t to have a little coughing fit. Anyways, yes, adding a sort of snowy effect with that stencil. It is actually, um, rather than like polka dots or something, it's actually squares, but it does still create a very, very snowy effect. And that paper paste in particular really, really works lovely to add that sort of wintry, snowy. Anyways, I am then taking some white acrylic paint. It's titanium white by, I think it's Dana Rowney, I think. Maybe Windsor and Newton, one of the two. And just painting that over um, all that stenciling and stuff, obviously once the stenciling was dry, just because, I don't know, a nice stark white background was better to put my next layer of paint on than just the gessoed background. I thought it would help create a more wintry, snowy effect. Here I am taking, oh, what's it called? I have to get to my little list here. This is Ducraft's Artiste Pearl Frosted Mint Paint, and I am covering the whole wooden piece with that, I love this paint so much. It's like my favouritest colour and sparkly. I mean, just couldn't get any better than that. And then once that was dry, I'm taking the, this is Fabrica Decoru Metallic Turquoise Acrylic, 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 oh dear, Acrylic paint. And then I'm just lightly dabbing that with like just a tiny bit of paint on my brush, just around the edges. Just gives it some lovely definition and makes it look a bit more like, 3D and stuff and just darken up the edges like shadows and stuff. I just, I really like the effect that gives. And then once that is dry, I am going to take some, there's the, the Fabrica Decorum Metallic Silver paint and do what I was talking about earlier. And I'm just painting that silver all around the edges, which actually took a lot longer than I thought it would, but I think it's worth it. And then also cover the back in silver. Again, it's just, it just makes that difference when you've just put a little bit of effort into the back, I feel. And it took, well, it took a little while to do it around the edges, but it didn't take too long at all to do it on the back. And also where I've done it on the edges, it actually has like, you get these little silver hints on the front of it where I've done it around the edges. And I think that actually looks really nice. Then taking Nouveau Embellishment Mousse in, <gasps> I didn't write it down, oh no, I think it's called Pure Platinum, I think. But anyways, I'm just taking chunks of that and sort of spreading it with my fingers over the stenciled areas just to really bring out that stenciling, give it some, again, definition. You can really, really see the snowflakes on the main part of the piece. And I'm taking quite big chunks of it because the Embellishment Mousse doesn't quite work in the same way that something like a, a wax does so if you do want that sort of effect that you would get with a wax you just take a big big clump of it onto your finger or if you use something else like a brush or whatever yeah just add more basically 
Then I'm taking all of the embellishments. Uh, flowers are pretty much all from my design team kit this month. Those glass beads from my stash, then I have like those uh, resin flowers which are actually clear with glitter, and then a couple of flat back pearls which are blue and pearlescent and just, you know, go with the whole thing. There is that little snowflake charm which I thought about using and then I decided against it. I just, because of it being that sort of dark silvery colour, maybe that more stainless steel kind of colour, I just, I would have had to gesso and colour it. I couldn't keep it that colour and use it on this piece because it was just, it would be too dark and too stark against everything else. As you can see, everything got plopped down with um, Prima Gloss Gel and then I am taking some glass bead paste. This is a technique I did last week in my design team project, but I really liked that effect last week, so I thought I would do it again. So yeah, taking that glass bead place, placed paste and putting it just amongst the embellishments where there's little gaps between the embellishments um, and then as well as there being the little mini glass beads that are in that paste, I'm adding these slightly larger glass beads from Prima and all that shimmeriness within that paste is just going to give a really lovely sort of icy frosty effect. Like you know when you've got like a really frosty icy morning and around leaves and flowers and stuff, not that there's loads of flowers out in winter, but you know just around foliage there's little frosty bits and that's sort of the thing I'm trying to present here. I also added some glass bead paste up and around the antlers, sort of as if snow is landing on the antlers, like sometimes you see that in the Christmas card with the reindeer and they've got snow in their antlers and I think it looks cute, so I was kind of going for that, but um, in a second you'll see once it was dry, this is the next day here because I left it overnight to dry, that glass bead paste obviously it dried clear and then it picked up the colour from behind so then it was like a greeny blue colour and just it wasn't a very pleasant colour to look at so I then took this is um, Deco Arts again uh, this is the Dazzling Metallics paint um, which is in pearl white and I'm just going over all of those little sections with the glass bead paste and the beads and stuff and just covering that in those and then it gives that really really frosty effect and then once the white pearl paint is dry, which took a while with the heat tool because I had quite big globules of it. I wanted to make sure you couldn't see any of that clear, weirdly green tinted paste underneath it. Yeah, once that is dry, I am doing what I did earlier on with the turquoise paint where I have like a tiny, tiny bit on my brush and I'm just dry brushing, dabbing a little bits of silver here and there. Again, it just really, really helps with the whole frosty effect. And once I am done with the silver paint I am going to take some Distress Spray Stain in Picket Fence and just add a few splatters of white to, again, give that snowy effect. Now, while I remember, just really quickly at the end here, um, I am actually going to be putting this up for sale in my Etsy store and 100% of the proceeds, um, so after fees and postage and stuff, are going to go to a fundraiser, which I don't have time to talk about now. I'm going to talk about it in next week's vlog, um, but I will leave a link to that fundraiser in the description box if you are interested in knowing anything about what the proceeds are going to. And yeah, so just sneaking that in at the end there just to let you know that is what is going to be happening with um, this piece and then my little reindeer decoration is finished once it was all dry I took some white garden twine I think it was and just threaded that through the holes tied the old knots in and then you've got something to hang it up with and that project is complete thank you so much for watching as always I will leave relevant links down in the description box please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed chat me down in the comments and I am going thanks again bye bye